Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and in this video I am going to share with you the updates on the newsletter that you're going to receive if you subscribe at preferredcurrency.news okay so without further ado let's begin so here is the website where you subscribe for $15 a month or $180 a year okay so you can use fiat or crypto as payment on the subscription so if you're going to pay in fiat just click paypal here if you're going to pay in crypto just click coinbase right okay so here is the newsletter that the subscribers received some hours ago and the first thing that you're going to see are the three main um, topics or three main articles of the three main news updates of the day so I'm going to discuss each and each of the articles so China's ID Ministry calls for acceleration of blockchain standardization is the first one. Okay, so the document published November 12 on the official website of the Cyberspace Administration of China, or CIC, calls on the country to accelerate the development of standards for the blockchain industry. The text has been authored by the Ministry of Ministry and Information Technology, MIT's Zhu Ping who is also Secretary General of the China Blockchain Technology and Industry Development Forum and Director of the Software Engineering and Evaluation Center at China's Electronics Technology Standardization Research Institute. Okay, so the document argues that the development of a reference blockchain architecture standard is of crucial importance for guiding the selection and application of blockchain systems across diverse domestic industries. It outlines the domestic blockchain standardization work began as early as 2016 with the publication of the Development Forum's white paper, which stipulated five categories for blockchain standardization, foundation, processes and method, interoperability, business and applications, and information security. After the forum completed its basic standard reference architecture as of May 2018, it reportedly completed 10 international blockchain standards such as terminology and concepts, reference architecture, classification, and ontology, which have now entered development stage. While blockchain standardization work continues to deepen, the text highlights that several hurdles still impede its completion, slowing industrial scale development. These reportedly include misunderstandings or an immature and imbalanced view of technologies application across various industries and scenarios, and insufficient cultivation of blockchain talent, which it notes is especially needed to train standardization practitioners. So the author calls on the country to expedite standardization as the technology's potential applications continue to extend beyond the bounds of finance to, uh, finance to supply chain management, social welfare, and culture and entertainment industries and other fields okay so this is the first topic the second one is Columbia um, Columbia University IBM launched two accelerator programs for blockchain enterprises right, so let's close this first so IBM and Columbia University have announced two blockchain accelerator programs that aim to help startups in the space innovate at scale, according to an IBM news release on November 2019. Both programs form part of the Columbia IBM Center for Blockchain and Data Transparency, a joint innovation center that was established by the tech giant and US Ivy League school this summer. So according to the release, each program will support 10 startups, offering them a network of business mentors, technical support, access to Columbia's student talent, talent and research community, design assistance, and IBM Cloud technology resources. The stated aim is to help network creators translate ideas to, into sustainable and scalable blockchain enterprises, which will in turn spur meaningful enterprise blockchain adoption 
and drive business efficiencies across industries. Uh, the 8 week Columbia Blockchain Launch Accelerator, set to take place in the New York City, has been designed for pre seed idea stage companies that are affiliated with either Columbia or another NYCE based school, as the release outlines. The second 8 week program, dubbed IBM Blockchain Accelerator, is targeted at later stage companies globally and will aim to help participants establish a business network and client base for their blockchain application. It will be partially run in person in New York and San Francisco and partly in combination with virtual programming to give participants more free time to devote to their business scaling efforts. So each participant startup on both programs will eventually be supplied with around $400,000 worth of access to technology and services. Neither program takes equity or, or charges a fee for participation. Okay, so that is the second main um, news update. So as you can see, first one is this one, the second one is this one. Okay, the third one is Ripple's, Ripple adds fifth largest Southeast Asian bank to enterprise blockchain network. Okay, okay. so RippleNet is expanding its network of banks by adding Malaysia CIMB Group to its fold. CIMB is the Asian's, I mean, is the ASEAN's fifth largest bank and will team up with Ripple to work on enabling instant cross-border payments for CIMB's markets. RippleNet's customer uh, base now constitutes over 100 global financial institutions, which CIMB will be able to partner with, facilitating, facilitating global payments. Despite being on the cutting edge of technological development, CIMB is one of Southeast Asia's first banks to turn to the blockchain for faster, easier payments. Partnering with RippleNet will allow the bank to pass on the benefit to its customers, many of whom currently live with slow and inefficient procedures. World Bank figures place um, the value of remittances to Southeast Asia at a massive $120 billion in 2018, but the size of the global mar market for cross-border payments is even bigger. With Boston Consulting Group, BCG, estimating an annual volume of $27 trillion. This is a massive market for CIMB to gain a foothold in, considering that almost 40% of this is in the ASEAN region. So RippleNet's blockchain-based solution, CIMB, will be using blockchain to, uh, Ripple's blockchain-based solution to improve its existing remittance service, SpeedSend. This service currently enables users to send and receive funds and includes features like direct account credit and instant cash collection. However, incorporating Ripple technology will mean that SpeedSend will not be limited to Malaysia, but will facilitate, facilitate payments throughout the ASEAN region. They will be able to send cross-border payments hassle-free. So CEO of CIMB Group, Tinko Dato Sri Sazrul Aziz, said, um, This innovat innovative blockchain solution will revolutionize international cross-border remittances and it is a, state, a testament to CIMB's ongoing efforts to enhance its digital bank proposition by providing speedy and cost-efficient solutions to our customers across the CN. Okay, so those were the three main topics, three main headlines of the day. So below that is the invitation to the Telegram group for the subscribers and after that is a link that will redirect you to a, a tool where you can monitor your EOS transactions and your account through email by getting alerts. Um, keep note of this one. And also other useful links. So use marketplace.news and marketplace.pcn.today are marketplace websites where you can post um, different items in exchange for cryptocurrencies and pcn.today is the news website where uh, the news updates um, were from okay so we're uh, as you can see we're placed right or published rather okay so 
Um, there's also a statement here that there's a free downloadable EOS wallet in Google Play Store and in, and in your favorite app store called EOS Links. So here it is. Okay, so here are t uh, the top coins of Don the Guru. So these are Ethereum, Komodo, Litecoin, Monero, NEM, or New Economy Movement, Bitcoin, EOS, Teller, DevCoin, and BitPay. And you can click the spreadsheet. Uh, to explore further Don the Guru's research list. So, as you can see in cell A1, the red have negative use, the orange are neutral, the yellow are fair, the green have good use, and the blue are showing the best news. So, the blue ones are the best coins that you should include in your research list. According to Don the Guru, these are the coins that shows um, best news today. So, as you can see, um, uh, like um, Bitcoin, so you can um, include Bitcoin in your research list or in your portfolio. Okay, so the, the information on the right of that are technical analysis. So this is very, very informative as you can see. So the ones that receive this one or this spreadsheet is only are I mean are only the subscribers of preferredcurrency.news. So if you want to receive that spreadsheet, uh, subscribe now. This this is just for fifteen dollars a month, guys. Right. So also um you can uh, also view different. List here of the high volume change tokens or coins, ten tech, interesting technical price action, um, the high weekly trade volume, the high Google search activity, and also if you want to earn crypto each month, you can uh, become an affiliate by clicking this one, this the picture here. So you can earn affiliate commissions for seven level steep, or you can go directly to the website, and you can see affiliate at the upper right corner, right? Okay guys, so those are the updates on the newsletter. So guys, um, you can also join um, this podcast in your Telegram to get new ideas about EOS and how good EOS is. So to keep up with the latest podcasts and videos being published for EOS. So see, as you can see. Okay. And also, uh, if you want to join um, Initiative Q, since Initiative Q is building the payment system of the future, the Q payment network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible, easy to use, and expensive payment network. You can use my uh, invitation link below at the description. So you can find it there. And also, if you want to do social service on a blockchain and give feedback and get rewarded in crypto, you can download Lumios.io in your favorite app store or in Google Play Store, right? So guys, this has been Vic. And before I go, I just want to say that I am not a financial advisor. And everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, right? So guys, um, see you on the next video. Um, this has been Vic signing off.